Three, two, one. Ah, vení, vení. Hey, in this video, we're going to walk you through how to use Google Keyword Planner in 2023 to create effective custom intent audiences as well as custom affinity audiences for your YouTube ad campaigns. Let's go ahead and dive right in. The Keyword Planner tool is often an underrated free tool by Google that most people and most marketers do not leverage enough, especially for the Google ad campaigns and your YouTube ad campaigns, specifically your video campaigns. So today I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks that you can use on the Keyword Planner to maximize your targeting and to ensure that you are tapping into buy intent traffic. People that are ready to go and pull out their credit card and buy your product or service online. Okay, so the Keyword Planner, you're gonna find it in your Google Ad account. You wanna go to Tools and Settings, and on the left side in Planning, the second option, Keyword Planner, okay? And you're gonna see this page right here. You're gonna have a couple options here. Discover new keywords, get search volume and forecasts, and organize keywords into ad groups. Okay, so as we are looking at my screen here, we're gonna go and discover new keywords first, just so I can share with you different techniques to help with your research, okay? So with this discover new keywords option, you are able to enter different uh, products or, or let's say different queries based on your product or services, okay? So you can search for volume, you can get uh, relevant keywords based on what you're offering. So we're gonna use an example today, and let's say that you're offering video production services, okay? This is your, your niche. So we're gonna hit get results, and here you have basically some data, some keyword data, okay? You can see video production services under the keywords that you provided. So here is the average monthly searches. So I'm gonna teach you maybe a, a basic filter that we like to use specifically for video campaigns. Again, if you wanna create these custom intent, I, I like to use, uh, go by the average monthly searches of at least over a thousand, okay? So everything over a thousand is what I want to show up on here, okay? Anything less than a, that, less than that, uh, I I want to leave it alone. Even though you can get searches for things that are maybe 300, 500, but for now, this is this is one technique that I've used to create my custom intent audiences, okay? So here we have the ones that I put in. Obviously, video production companies near me, video production corporate, okay? So these are very specific keywords that I want to add into my custom intent. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna create a little note block here. I'm just gonna copy and paste these in here. So this is one theme that I'm gonna use is video production services, okay? So now, and actually I can put uh, over 1K, just so that way we're clear for 1K uh, search volume. Okay, and we can continue on with other keywords. So the idea is you want to really strategically think about who you want to target. Business owners that are looking for this type of services, correct? That's your main avatar. So how are these people searching for this? So this is just one way. Another way that you can do this is get into the mind of your potential user. How are they searching? Like how, what are they typing into the Google search bar to basically jump in that traffic, right? So uh, let's say best video agency or video production agency in Miami, let's say, right? So let's say you're based in Miami. This is one example. Okay, so notice it didn't give me results because of the, this filter here. I have the 1000 filter, that's okay. Okay, so there you go. So there is not one around that. So th this is where you need to get creative and play around with this specific keyword. So notice that when I took out the best, now we have some results here, okay? Even though they're not the best, but still music video production company, production companies, Miami. This is a pretty high intent, Miami firm production companies. Uh, film companies in Miami, right? Video marketing agency in Miami. So if you offer maybe marketing services as well. So you wanna get creative with these keywords um, and, and you could actually use these, right? If you wanna maybe do all of them, this could be also a, a, a particular, uh, a custom intent audience that you can create later on as well, just based off of this keyword. So these are custom intent keywords or custom intent audiences that you're creating based off these search terms, okay? And we showed you how to create them uh, inside the audience manager. I'll quickly do this again 
for you guys here just so you can get an idea for those that maybe haven't seen the our previous videos so what you want to do is copy and paste them in here and you want to make sure you select people who search for any of these terms on Google okay and this is for example one way that you can do this okay notice the insights in there so let, let me just open this up again so if you notice here this is it has a good audience size doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get all these impressions this all varies by budget but it does tell you that you know there, there's there's volume in terms of, of that audience like you can actually jump uh, you know your video can show up in front of these people that are actively searching for these type of uh, of search terms okay Hey, really quickly, if you are somebody that's looking to get into YouTube ads, whether you want to do it yourself or you want it completely done for you, what I recommend is that you go down to the description of this video and click on the top link. What that will allow you to do is book a free strategy session with somebody on our team where we will sit down with you completely for free and see if YouTube ads make sense for your business. And with that, let's jump back into the video. So let's go back to the keyword planner. So again, you could do this with keywords, uh, so you can see it does help you build out the buy intent audiences for your Google or YouTube campaigns. You know, again, most people who are doing PPC uh, advertisers are on the search campaigns. They're already using it, um, but a lot of people are not leveraging it enough for the YouTube campaigns. Right. So there's still a lot of people out there stuck on uh, I'm doing the, these placement campaigns. Right. But if you're going for drive conversions, this is where you would need to start is Try to be very specific, okay? Very specific and narrow uh, with your intent, okay? With the audience creation process. And later on for scale, that's where you go a little broader, okay? Remember that we're no longer able to use these keywords on our drive conversion campaigns on YouTube, okay? So we're actually obligated to get creative with our targeting and research, okay? So this is just one way to go about it. So remember, there are multiple ways that people can search online for a specific product or service so you just want to get creative you want to get in the mind of your customer avatar so that way this could be translated into very effective custom intent audiences okay and this is just one way that you can go about it now i'm going to show you another uh another trick or another technique that we use so you know we're since we're in the in the video production agency what i'm going to do is a quick search for let's say a competitor right so i'm going to do video production uh, company in Miami, for example. Let's see, top digital agency, Miami video production. All right, so let, let's say, so we're gonna use, take this example. Uh, normally when you select all this, you know, the G click, all these parameters, they may not uh, work, you might not get all the results. So we're just gonna take the landing, right? So uh, let's go back. So we're gonna take the landing, let's go back and do this. We go to start with a website, right? So we did the example with keywords. We're now going to be doing start with a website. So we just copied and pasted this uh, example. Let's say a competitor for this particular search of video production companies in Miami, right? So let's say you're somebody that offer these services. What we're going to do now is read the data that is below. These are the keywords that this particular company, okay, Miami visuals, is showing up as right or that they are bidding on okay in particular you can see here there's over 440 of them okay so you can again do the same exercise and just kind of do the ones that are over a thousand right so you can sort it by that and you can optimize based off of that but needless to say there's definitely some some gold in here in terms of custom intent audience now i've seen a lot of people do this where they go and say, okay, I'm just gonna create a custom intent off of this. Now, while you can do that, and it might give you some results, it's gonna be difficult for you to understand what's really working on uh, you know, your campaign side, on, on the audience uh, targeting side, right? You wanna theme them out, right? So, you know, do like between five, 15, you know, you can get away with 20, 50, but again, it's the same thing. You wanna make sure that you maybe theme them. So, uh, but, but this is one way of going about it. So notice this is a top ranked, uh, you know, Google search results that we got here, right? So obviously these people are, are bidding for these keywords, okay? So these keywords, if we create custom intent audiences off of them, 
we're very likely going to jump in front of people that are searching for this. Okay. Uh, on Google, and we're going to have an opportunity to display showcase, let's say your services in front of people that are actively searching for this. Okay. So that's one way you go to going about it. So again, the same process, you just kind of copy and paste, you can create a plan. And basically that is one of the options that you can do uh, to leverage the custom segments, okay, to create these custom intent audiences. All right. So based on the website, again, you, you just want to go off of your, you know, your top competitors. That's one way to go about it. Um, you can do keywords and, you know, it's, it's definitely one of my way, favorite ways to tap into traffic of users who've shown a particular interest or they have that buy intent for a specific product or service. Okay. So, uh, next time you want to create, uh, you know, some custom intent audiences, definitely leverage the keyword planner in this way. Uh, you can do so many things with this, you know, you know, with the website, like I said, you can create a lot of these custom intent audiences based off of real, you know, high intent keywords. I mean, look at this video company near me, right? Production companies, Miami business video production, top video production companies. So you can get in front of all of these specific search uh, searches and, and really take, you know, uh, your ad and amplify it to these people that are already actively searching for things. So it's, it's super powerful. Uh, a lot of people are not leveraging the right way. Some of you watching this may be like, oh, I already knew that, but there are other ways that you can leverage it for, uh, for YouTube campaigns. So I'm going to show you another one. Okay. We're going to take the same competitor right and this is now for a custom affinity creation so people who are searching for these type of websites that's what we want to do we want to show in front of these websites okay and uh, you can just label it according to what you're searching and notice that when you add the the url here you get these topics insights and these are people that are actively searching for these topics marketing web design development advertising marketing and web services you see a pattern there so this is another powerful way like this if you have a really great offer for video production agencies and you know you show this ad to these people that are searching for these similar websites guess what you have a very high chance of converting them because it's super relevant and it's right in the moment so remember the marketing is you're putting the message at the right time to the right person Okay. The correct message at the right time to the correct person. That's what marketing 101 is. So that is one way that you can leverage this keyword planner to, uh, to your advantage. Okay. To, to be able to create all of these custom intent, custom affinity audiences. So there you have it guys. This is how to use the Google keyword planner in 2023 to create effective custom intent audiences, as well as some custom affinity audiences. It's a very powerful tool and it's free. It's right there in tools and settings. Uh, try it out today. Uh, give it a try. Create some video campaigns using uh, a lot of these keywords, custom intent audiences based on this keyword research. Really spend some time on it, right? Be creative, create different themes based on services, based on maybe blog articles that your customer avatar is looking at, right? I just covered a, a few uh, main ones, but there are other ways you have to think about that empathy map, right? Your, your demographic, your avatar, what visit, what are they searching for, right? Maybe there's there are certain blog articles that they're looking for so really keep that in mind when you're creating these audiences thank you for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on your notifications once we drop some more video ad knowledge your way thank you we'll see you on the next one